prize-winning cartoonist whose sharp wit can be seen in over 300 newspapers, and also in his new book, Happy Days Are Here Again. Please welcome Mike Peters. And nice oh, to have yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, as we have the whole panel here, have been covering the conventions. Oh, what, yes. Yeah. Oh, man, it's been wonderful, Joan. Yeah. I, we've loved it. We've walked around and seen all the crazy things are happening, though. What has been going on? Show well, me some we'll, of the things you've been you doing. Know, you know, let me show you. I did this, I did this last night. Um, it's Jesse Jackson. And he's saying, uh, yes, I gave my support to Bill Clinton, but I didn't inhale. <laughs> Okay, now, now, you know, now, now one of the things that has been, has been interesting to me is the fact that the campaign and that this, um, you know, this convention has been going on exactly the same time that the, that the Olympics are going to be starting. So I, st I, I started thinking about the presidential Olympics. And so, and I thought, and I thought there were a lot of different, I'm sorry, I thought there were a lot of different, um, I mean, a lot of different events in the presidential right. Olympics. I've got here Bush. Uh, uh, is kind of uh, has yeah. his head in a air sick, and this is the 300 meter cookie toss. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then I have Sangus, you know, with a rifle, and it's a small boar competition. Okay. <laughs> and then I've got uh, Bill and Dan, you know, Dan Quayle right. and Bill, uh, uh, the synchronized draft dodging. You know, that's, that's something that they love, love, love doing. And then here's and then here's Marilyn, uh, you know, uh, Marilyn. yeah, Marilyn and Hillary Clinton in the <laughs> Iron Wife competition. <laughs> And then, and, and then I've got, uh, you know, for weightlifting, weightlifting, right, wait, you know, wait, wait. I've got uh, George and Dan at Clean and Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 I put in, I, I've been doing a bunch of my political cartoons. Right, right. And so I kind of thought I'd kind of show you some of the stuff that I've been doing here. Great. Okay. When you say yeah. here, you mean oh, here at the convention. At the Democratic you know, Convention. Okay. Um, no one knows exactly what the effect is going to be of of, uh, of Ross Perot. Right. And so uh, so I've got Clinton driving a car, and it's and you see Perot in the mirror, and it says objects in the mirror are larger than they appear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, and then, um, um, and then of course Pro won't say anything, and everybody's getting tired of this. And he's standing there with this uh, a statue, you know, that he's about to unveil, un unveil, and everybody's asleep. And he's saying, "Any minute now, get set. I'm almost ready. Here I go. On your mark." You know, he just, he just will not. Okay, and then poor, and then poor Bill. It's got uh, Jerry, Jerry Brown. For a flat tax, call one one eight hundred Brown. For a good time, call one eight hundred. <laughs> He's been on every every TV show, every TV show, Joan. And so I've got him. I've got him uh, w with one of those funny, uh, you know, the rainbow mask. Right. I think Clinton is doing too much TV, and he's holding a John three sixteen. You know, that guy that's always that's always around. And and, and then. And, 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 and then poor quail, you know, this guy. Poor quail, poor, poor quail. quail. You know, this guy, I've got, pick the genetically altered vegetable, and it's uh, A or B, you know. You know, I mean, I mean, they just don't know. I mean, they just don't know. Who, who have been your favorite candidates uh, to work with? Well, you know, I think my, if, uh, you know, uh, if I had a chance, I'd bring Nixon back. I mean, this uh. guy, Nixon was my favorite guy to draw. And so let me show you. Tell me why. Um, yeah. Let me show you a couple of reasons. You know, it's so fun. Uh, he had this wonderful, wonderful kind of a nose that kind of came came That's like right. this. Oh, yes. His great, his great big eye eyebrow. I mean, his eyelashes like this. He had two little eyes peering <laughs> underneath underneath his uh, his eyebrows. Okay, he had these little nostrils like this. He had little bags like this. He had a little head and a little few pieces of hair up here. Okay, okay. But the thing that endeared Nixon to us editorial cartoonists was he had these fabulous, fabulous jowls that would come down like this. Now a lot of people think that this is where he hid the tapes, but it wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't. Now, the thing that really makes Nixon Nixon, though, 
is, um, is Nixon had no neck. You know, most people have necks like this and shoulders down here. Nixon's shoulders always start right here. <laughs> Of the current ones, who do you find the easiest to draw, or the most fun to draw? Oh, I and think I, I think um, um, you know I think Perot I think is going to be I, I mean I, I think is because he's got this wonderful wonderful large nose, little bitty little bitty eyes like this. He's got a uh, little mouth like this. He always, you know, he's t from Texas, so he's got this fabulous fabulous hat that he always. <laughs> Always kind of comes up like that, okay? <laughs> He's got these large ears. But the only thing, you know, everybody thought, everybody thought that he was going to be a, a shoe in, you know? Well, you know, here, here's the shoe, and the only shoe now in, for Perot goes in his mouth, you know? <laughs> you know? We'll be right back with more political humor. You're terrific. Oh, you're welcome. Right back. Thank you.